So I don't know if you know, but we are currently in a very defining moment for the future of KDE. So KDE decides what to focus on uh, in the future using goals. And every couple or three years, we actually vote to select some goals. The very first ones were about onboarding people or focusing on privacy. And then they were changed with uh, uh, goals like uh, consistency, which is actually the one that I led for three years. And now it's the end of those goals and we are currently voting for a new round of goals that will actually define what uh, the community will focus the most for the next couple of years at least. Uh, the goals will then live on, but we uh, vote for new ones. So this is the page with the goals that will be voted. So let's actually go through them so you can see what we are currently voting on. And if I recall, recall correctly um, all of KD developers vote and uh, you can actually see the goals and know in case which goals are selected what will happen so first one is uh, probably my favorite is automate and systematize internal processes which when it was first proposed was actually called uh, professionalized KD but apparently that wasn't uh, good enough uh, for a name and what this talks about is, I think, really uh, focusing on increasing the quality, the end quality of the KD product as a whole by making sure that, to make some, some examples, uh, that we have a QA team that actually reviews every merge request and make sure that there are no bugs and uh, also having tests, having a lot of tests and making sure that a merge request cannot get in if all the tests are not passing. Um, are passing, uh, stuff like this, making sure that you have the CI uh, in GitLab, these kind of things. Also, uh, the first proposal of this, um, the first version of this proposal also talked about actually having developers to work on uh, KDE stuff internally. Currently, KDE does not quite hire developers for KDE uh, related, like very KDE projects. There are some developers that are um, hired for, as an example, work on hardware uh, that runs of KD on KDE and stuff like that. Also people that work on promotion, but this actually said, okay, no, let's actually hire people to work on KDE products that the end user uh, will use. I think it was uh, removed from the proposal as it's more of a KDE EV thing, which is the organization that legally represents KDE and not as a whole from the organization. But we do still have, let's actually zoom in, some nice proposals like having linters, automating fuzzing, also uh, coding and documenting the steps required for QA. And one thing that I really like, which I cannot see right now in this list, is uh, when like a um, uh, um, developer wants to actually step back from the KDE community, sometimes it happens for personal reasons or whatever, uh, to actually make a process so that he can follow to make sure that all of the things he was working on keep on being maintained and everything. So I think this is a very nice goal. You can read it, it's publicly available, just like all goals. The next one is making Flatpaks a first class deli delivery method for KDE apps. This was actually worked a lot already for the KDE is all about the apps goal that we had um, in the past version. And uh, what is this about? Well, you guessed it, making sure that all KDE apps are on Flathub and making sure that uh, they work very nice, that we have a process to uh, easily uh, uh, actually, you know, port new apps for being on the Flat App Store and um, this kind of stuff. And it's especially important. I really like that the author actually pointed this out because of stuff like the Steam Deck where Kitty Plasma is pre-installed and the Flatpak is the only application installation, installation method. So if you want to install anything on the Steam Deck, you have to use Flatpaks. So all apps, all KDE apps that are not available as a Flatpak won't be able to be installed. Uh, if you don't know what Flatpak is, go check it out. Uh, I use it a lot actually, but I'm not very expert. Next one is the totally offline productivity and privacy PC PDA workflow. And I'm gonna say I'm biased on this one because uh, personally, personally, 
I do not like this goal. I think it goes very against what KD should be, but it's only my opinion and we'll actually vote on this to make sure if, uh, to see if it's the opinion of others or if I'm in the minority, we'll see. So what this talks about is making sure that offline news is a uh, primary uh, a first class for KD products. And to be clear, all KD Plasma, KD products as a whole, uh, if they should work without internet, they do work without internet. They are already very adapted to being offline. KD Plasma as the desktop perfectly works offline, obviously. And if you actually see the motivation, I don't quite agree with the motivation. Uh, it talks about the fact that computers should not be communication mediums, and it talks about this a lot. So go check it out if you want to uh, know more about this. Maybe you disagree with me. And uh, personally, I found that very wrong. Like I think that computers are very much meant to communicate with other um, people or I don't know, watch YouTube videos, stuff like that, that is communicating. Right now I'm communicating to you and that is very much a primary idea of how computers should work. And if we do go check out how <laughs> this should work, what things we should do to actually implement this goal, there's a couple of ideas here. I'm not sold on the ideas either, sadly. So as an example, KD Marble, which is currently the application of KD that um, shows maps, uh, should include offline routing, which is easily exportable to a pocket device. And to be clear, KD Marble, as far as I know, doesn't quite have routing at all currently, maybe I'm wrong, but that's what I recall. So the idea of having offline routing, uh, we should have routing in the first place to have that. I mean, we could work specifically to have offline routing, I guess, but Osman, Google Maps do have offline routing already. And frankly, they are better than KD Marble and work already on a pocket device. So you don't even, even have to export. So I don't see the point. Also a Plasma Mobile optimized version that allows for import of city specific channel transfer. Again, as far as I know, we don't have that stuff. Maybe I'm completely wrong. So it's not about making sure that it works offline. It's having that in the first place. I don't know. Another example is uh, complex analysis of music preferences, which are blah, 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 that were once a feature of Amarok 1.4, bring that sort of local preference learning back. We don't even have online preference learning. So I, I don't understand. I'm, I'm sorry. I just don't get this goal. So you can actually go through this, read this all and make your own opinion. Next one is KD for all boosting accessibility. I don't have a much to say about this, except that I will surely vote for this goal because I do think this is something that should be worked on in the KD community. Really, it's really important. However, I'm completely ignorant about this matter. So I can try my best, but uh, I need to learn. I want to vote this uh, goal because hopefully it will also teach me as part of the goal how to actually improve these kind of things. It talks about what you could guess, like having magnification, also color contrast, focus handling, making sure that all of these components of KDE are available through keyboard usage, these kind of things. So KDE for all boosting accessibility. Then we have sustainable software, a very interesting one, which talks uh, specifically about sustainability in terms of pollution and using energy. And um, the idea is that the influence of software on sustainability is not well understood yet. And KDE does actually work a lot already already to make sure that you can like measure how energy efficient uh, their programs are and we do have a certification by Blue Angel, Blue Angel, I don't know, uh, about this uh, given to Ocular, the PDF application, which is very interesting. And these goals elaborate on it, say what we should do, the next steps to make sure that KDE software is as energy efficient, but also that KDE can act as an organization to, um, it says, use its visibility to uh, contribute to sustainability, this kind of thing. So very interesting, very um, echo. Then there is human-centered KDE, which was this close to being thrown away, uh, simply because uh, the person that actually proposed 
this call um, kind of left the KDE community. So if you don't have a champion for the goal, you can't uh, like vote the goal because nobody would actually take uh, the lead. Uh, but uh, since I really like this goal, I actually stood up and said, okay, no, I really like this. So I will propose myself as the champion of this goal, which I didn't write, uh, just because I want it for at least to be voted, because I think this is a really nice goal. So currently this is um, the goal that I'm proposing, me, even though I did not plan on proposing any goal, but again, I just wanted this one to be at least voted. And it's about making sure that KDE is uh, designed for users and uh, it's it's really easy for developers and I'm putting myself into that a lot to say okay I know what KDE should look like should behave like and know how you I know what's best for users um, there's a lot of that and although we are often right how <laughs> developers are often right about what users expect from the product uh, this talks about well, things like usability research, which we don't do at all currently in KDE. So that could be something really nice. And also stuff like QX testing. These kind of things are uh, discussed in this goal. You can read all of it. It's very interesting. I, I didn't write it, but I thought it was worth a shot. And finally, this is a goal that sadly didn't make it for a very similar reason. The person that originally uh, proposed the goal uh, went inactive and nobody actually stood up for this one. If I could have proposed two goals, then I would have also tried to be champion on this one because I think this one also deserves voting, but I cannot and I prefer to be here. So this one probably won't get voted. Nonetheless, it's a very interesting goal and the idea is making sure that our documentation to actually develop um, things in KDE uh, is very nice and this is very important for onboarding because new developers need a good documentation to understand what's going on. But even for developers like me, which already have been on board, I, I do need some documentation that I can understand sometimes that would make my life easier. Sadly, again, didn't make it, uh, maybe next time, I don't know. But uh, Kerry does make an effort to make sure that the documentation is nice. Um, uh, Kerry actually hired the Kerry AV, hired uh, a person to do a review of what's wrong with our current documentation. I didn't see uh, what happened with that, but there is an effort in this sense. The fact that it's not a goal doesn't mean that it won't happen at all. And that was it for this voting. What would you personally vote? And if you're a KDE developer, remember to vote these calls. Uh, the email to vote should go out very soon, maybe even before this video is published, I don't know. And uh, thank you a lot to the Patreons and the donations. And um, always remember that this sidebar here is always like one or two days behind because I'm recording these videos in advance when I can. So if your donation isn't in the list, don't worry, just give it a couple of days. But thank you really a lot to everybody. It's good to be welcome back and already having some new Patreons. I'm really happy. So see you tomorrow with another video.